This is Casey Hendrickson on News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel. All right. Uh, Andrew McCabe, his appeal to avoid criminal charges has been rejected, ladies and gentlemen. This dude is in trouble. I think he might be the only one who is actually in some legal trouble right now. And I don't mean that because um, he's the only criminal. I mean that because the FBI really doesn't like this guy anymore. He did a lot of things that you're not supposed to do at the FBI. The FBI is the one that wanted him gone. Remember, it wasn't the Trump administration that wanted him gone. The FBI wanted him gone. Deputy Attorney General Jeff Rosen told former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe on Thursday that his appeal against possible criminal charges against him is being rejected. The rejection may pave the way for an indictment of McCabe, who, according to the Justice Department Inspector General's report, made false statements to federal investigators about his disclosure of information to a journalist in 2016. Now, keep in mind, what happens to you if you make a false statement to the FBI? They ruin your life, just like they have done with General Flynn, who, by the way, looks like he's winning his case. I've got updates on that coming up in just a little bit. There, he's been in court this week, and it looks good for him. Uh, McCabe was fired without receiving a pension by then Attorney General Jeff Sessions in 2018 after the IG concluded McCabe lacked candor when questioned about the incident. Um, now, for those of you who might misread that, because NBC News did not do a good enough job of telling you about his pension, he did not lose his pension. He lost the ability to get his pension early. If he chose to retire early, he can get his pension. Well, when he was fired, he lost the ability to get his pension early. So he has to wait until normal retirement age to now draw his pension. OK, so he did not lose his pension. NBC's wrong about that. They did a whole crowdfunding thing for Andrew McCabe, who, by the way, is valued in the seven figures. That means he's valued at being a millionaire. Uh, but all of these uh, snowflakes out there want to go ahead and give him uh, free money via crowdfunding. By all means, go ahead and be stupid with your cash. So he didn't lose his pension. He just has to wait for normal retirement age to get his pension. OK, he did not lose it. Um, so he's been trying to get the threat of criminal charges tossed out. And they've said, nope, you're still in trouble here. Andrew McCabe is in big, big trouble. We got him all over these struck page emails and text messaging things uh, as doing all sorts of stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. So he's he's the one guy. People keep asking me, is anybody going to go to jail? I don't think anybody's going to go to jail, but I think that if anybody gets convicted of anything, it'll be McCabe. McCabe is the one that could get convicted of stuff. And that's because he not only violated the law, but he violated his contract terms and everything. Now, so did James Comey. But Comey did this really weird thing with his uh, his lawyer is he kind of made him like an FBI source or something. And so they were able to kind of protect the privileged information that he was giving him in order to go ahead and make it seem like he really wasn't leaking any information, even though he did leak information. It, it was a very... A very unethical way of doing things. But Comey got away with it. All right. So the inspector general says, you know, he did a bunch of stuff that clearly violated his contract, violated FBI policy, may have violated the law, but we're not sure we can get a conviction. So we don't recommend charges. OK, that was the inspector general. Now, the inspector general is not the end all be all on that. You know, the Department of Justice can still file charges against James Comey and they may because the IG report on this whole Russia investigation is still not out. There was, for some reason, a separate report just about Comey that came out, and the inspector general was not kind to him. Uh, but Andrew McCabe broke the law, and that's why the FBI wanted him gone. They wanted him fired. So there is no, no, I really made him an informant. Uh, I made him a source, and therefore it's not leaking information, and everything's fine. There, there isn't any of that with McCabe. McCabe straight up broke the law. Now, whether he gets charged with breaking the law remains to be seen. But he tried to get the Department of Justice to drop the possibility of facing criminal charges. And the DOJ said, nope, you're still in, in play here for us to charge you criminally over some of your conduct. So we'll see exactly what happens with this. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised either way. Uh, but McCabe right now, he's the one that stands the biggest chance of being charged with something here. We'll see what happens. I don't know for sure, uh, but it doesn't look good for him. Not at all. 